Okay, I've got another stupid idea. James is a hitman, but what he can do is combine weapons. So let's just keep combining weapons until we have one that does everything. Uh, every time we do combine weapons, we take more damage. I don't want to talk about this. So this guy is basically a natural glass cannon, which I love. So we're going to do lots of damage and be wildly breakable. So this should be fun. All we got to do is find the guns now. I mean, we try and avoid getting hit anyway, so this should just work out naturally quite well. What would really be great, though, would be something to start one of our meters going. Thanks to the lucky coin we found at the beginning of this, we're going to have a lot of hearts and stuff to be found. So we're going to be perfectly fine. This is all going to work out. First items, hand mirror or hungry amulet. So we're going to go with hand mirror there's a chance you'll fire a ricocheting bullet sort of like that and i mean i feel like every time i do accidental damage things just work out well in my favor oh here we go here's a gun what did what does forge do okay so if you charge out forge fires bullets in all directions so if we combine it with steel lion uh we can charge it up and then go like that and uh oh so we can fire a bullet as well charging up perfect so wisely we need to put this to the test uh why is there a laser this is like the first floor there should not be lasers of any kind so far so good with this it's a little bit confusing to try and remember what i'm doing uh but if i just continually hold shoot actually it works out because eventually he just lets go of a salvo that shoots everything get out of the way of that don't sh yep so far so good but we get to upgrade well basically two guns Maybe I should just go like that for a bit and not try the charge up thing. I mean, I have the option of the charge up thing for when I want it, but maybe it's, o it's okay enough just firing multiple bullets around. Because it really should just be a lot of damage with this, because it's already two guns in one. Plus, charging up doesn't do more damage necessarily. This fires more bullets, so if I'm just rapid firing anyway, probably all the better. Finally, the purple meter's going. Ow. I, yep shouldn't have done that finally found the store and there's lullaby i think i know what lullaby does and i don't think it's one we want to add to our gun right now then again it is a free gun well it's not free but it is a gun we can add why not why wouldn't we do this so now we take extra damage again but we do loop-de-loop -loop bullets as well all right let's fight pewdie god of trolls and see if this idea comes all unraveling so far the damage seems pretty good there's just a lot of it going out it's getting hard to see things already but so far so good we're Okay, I'm gonna like this one. We'll take that one, increase gun damage. So, three guns in one. That is three guns in one so far. We just need a little more damage and probably toughness. Pumpkin head or dark side? Uh, I guess I'm gonna take dark side. If you don't have a heart, you immediately deal damage to all enemies. That might save me at some point. My plan though really is just to not need saving. And I think with the amount of bullets we're firing, we could probably pretty much get away with that at all times. And I never know if it's worth it to open these. It takes a full key. Like that wasn't really worth it. So maybe next time we won't open one of those unless we have a lot of keys to spare. I guess too it'd be good to get items that make us fire more bullets because we're firing three guns at once so if we get that we'll fire three extra bullets instantly. I'm gonna try and get to that never mind that idiot well nothing I could do there Ares it is or we could turn it back into Athena I guess if we really worked hard at it. We'll just leave that there for now I think if we find a shop or a purple chest and open it that will turn back to purple. In fact we can find out right now yep goes back to purple. I just don't want to get hit. Here's another gun we can't afford. We need more money so we're able to afford all the guns we want. Uh, so far this is pretty good though. We're doing plenty of damage and nothing seems to be able to get close to us. And we're killing things so quickly we're getting lots of our little uh, eggs hatching. Here's a bunch of money. I do have a grabber so I gotta be quick otherwise he'll grab this stuff and I won't get a chance. But I'm pretty sure we have enough for that extra gun now, so let's go ahead and combine another one. Then we'll be even more fragile. Death Ray. Yes, give me the Death Ray. So Death Ray is also the one that fires like a laser, so we would have to charge it up a little bit if we want to get the full use of that. But at least we have the option. Oh, I almost hit... Uh, okay, welcome. I'll take you. Fine. And another one? Okay. I think we're firing enough bullets so we can get away with this. So let's start spawning things in. The Death Ray's got a lot of range on it, which is quite nice. That's going to help keep us alive a lot in itself. Good. So far, so good. And you're dead. And then there's the last three ideas to deal with. Uh, yeah, this is going to work out pretty good, I think. And we're going to level up all of those guns. The Death Ray wasn't maybe the best choice, but it still can help. And we're going to fight her, the goddess of makeup. So we're just going to continually fire. Trying to remember how to dodge her attacks. Oh, okay, we got hit when we didn't want to, but oh, okay, she's dead. I guess we're doing lots of damage then. Increased gun damage. I didn't actually care there that much whether we got extra health or not because we're very fragile. Right, what's in this room? Okay, we got teleporty idiots, so we gotta watch out for them because they're very hard to see amongst all my bullets. 
Other than that, everything will probably die fairly reasonably. And we're soon to have an Athena room. We'd be there already if we didn't get hurt by the boss, but makeup is hard to dodge sometimes. Ooh, that was close. We don't want to get too close to that, otherwise that would happen. So many drops, though. So if we can complete one more room without taking damage, we'll be okay. This one's probably not going to have enemies. This one will, though. Please be something outrageous. Acorn or a basketball jersey. Pretty sure this... Oh, we got a token, too. You only lose half a heart when you get hurt. We also want Immortal Soul if we can. That's kind of cool, but uh, you'll only lose a maximum of half a heart when you get hurt. That's perfect, because the more guns we combine, the more damage we're supposed to take. But we don't have that downside anymore. We can just combine guns freely. Oh, and I mean, it's pretty cool getting the Athena token too. We'll take more of those, please. So this is actually going to work out to a really, really good run then. Because we can just continually uh, combine guns. Not that we weren't going to anyway, but we don't need to worry about the downside of that. Uh, we'll go ahead and get some of these. I'm not going to open that because I learned my lesson earlier. Yeah, that can just stay there. We'll go ahead and see what other gun we're about to combine. What does Golden Spirit do? So that's actually a melee weapon. It'll punch things that are close to me. So if we have the money for that, we're going to buy it because things do get close to me a lot and it would be nice to be able to just punch them dead instead of me having to shoot them. Oh, and here's the money I need to buy such a gun. Again, this is really unnecessary, but so are most of the things I do. Oh, that's fun. Now nothing's gonna get in our face. Cool. All right, let's try the big fist in this room. Well, the armored enemies... Well, they are armored, so we are getting through that pretty easily. I do feel like whatever we're about to fight is probably going to die fairly easily. The biggest problem is always is going to be me being able to see damage coming toward me because I'm firing a lot of different things out there. But damage will not be a problem. That's one thing I'm fairly sure of. Another egg catch because nothing can survive my onslaught. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a good day. It always is when murder's on the menu. He fires double bullets because I was just thinking I'm not firing enough bullets out there into the world. Since I have five keys, I will open the golden chest. I know I said I wasn't going to but oh good i got another golden chest which yeah was debatably worth it okay so we're gonna kill everything there we're gonna kill these guys i almost forgot we still get items we don't need items at this point we just kind of want them okay there's a free gun for twins if we want or broken kite well we're obviously gonna take twins i'm not sure what twins adds to the mi whoa okay we just got long range on our guns now perfect i can't wait till we find the crippling downside that i'm overlooking for this like suddenly we're just gonna be instantly dead and i'm gonna be oh yeah i didn't think about that but that's the way it typically goes for uh for me so explosives are dangerous those guys shoot the thing that goes if our bullets could block damage that would be great too uh just to stop things from getting toward me because those bounce at a weird angle i forgot about the laser i forgot about the laser but we increase our gun level. I took a lot of damage in this room. But that's the fun of this build. It's very high risk, high reward. Uh, also, when my little grabber dies, he's going to spit out a whole bunch of money. So I'm excited for that. Until then, we're going to murder, uh, absolutely murder Freddy here. Just avoid the colorful balls. I think Freddy's about dead. <laughs> Freddy is dead. Uh, oh, so we want the one with that one increase bullets now we're firing more bullets out it would be nice to have some bullets that went like through walls and stuff because right now i have to go around things and it's kind of annoying but at the same time we're doing enough damage that i guess it doesn't really matter i'm just thinking if i could have absolutely everything i wanted i would add that to the mix yeah this will work though i think we're also about to unlock another athena room depending on whether or not that thing over there gets touched which i don't think it's going to perfect so we'll see what she has for me now a gun well we're definitely going for the gun so we're gonna add lullaby into the mix it's uh i don't know what it's doing it's firing something out though that's all that matters then we're gonna restart uh this meter again and then we're just gonna keep on marching forward kind of lapping our way through some of these rooms because the damage is just so much that um well we don't really have to try that hard anymore look at all the shields and then we have his strength badge or beehive uh i don't really know which one they're both kind of good beehive means you're sometimes fire extra bullets this means extra damage i guess i'll just take that reliable extra damage that little monkey that wanders around and helps me too is actually really good because he'll often take care of the enemies I don't even see. I really like the way he works autonomously. Like this, see he's over here already killing that guy and I hardly even knew he existed because we need more projectiles going out. We're not doing enough damage yet, obviously. And we got the blue doctor, which is actually really good because he'll find hearts that we don't need and convert them into shields, which we do. Here's another shop, which probably means, yeah, we get a fish gun. We could get a forbidden mask, but why would we get that when we can get a fish gun? So not really sure what that does, but well, there's a lot of bullets going out. I don't care what the guns do anymore you don't have to care when you're this good at murdering things i'm just kind of firing a gun in random directions as i enter rooms assuming that mostly everything's going to die when i do see an enemy great all the easier but i don't really need to see them anymore is this is there something in this room i should be worried about it just seemed like it was set up so strangely 
it had me suspicious. And I guess since I have the blue doctor, I might as well let him have some of these hearts for now, because he can potentially give me shields anyway. Okay, let's write challenge room. This one doesn't have the laser idiot in the middle, so it's actually going to be a little bit easier than the other ones. Uh, I still need to pay quite a bit of attention to where the bullets are, but for the most part, I think I'm okay. And a gun level up. So much more damage, range, bullet size, all the good stuff. And another gun, Song of Joy. Uh, oh, it's firing the lobbing shots. <laughs> We're really firing a lot of bullets at this point. We really do have to aim less and less as time goes on because our bullets are just doing all sorts of things. I don't really know what he's going to do, but ow. Well, we did take a hit there, but I just... I really couldn't see what was happening in my defense, but we're going to take a heart, believe it or not, just because I'm going to need the help. Like, look at my firing pattern. There's so many bullets going forward and just in front of me and then all around and bouncing, and I can still charge up and fire death lasers and all sorts of things. I love the ridiculousness of this. Everything I wanted to be. My bullets even take out half the boxes in the levels now. Uh, the biggest concern is definitely at this point the teleporting guys that will teleport right beside me and fire bullets. I'm not going to see them at all. So I'm hoping my... Um, my little monkey died. So I guess it's up to me to deal with those things. The bullets for the most part will have that covered, but some damage will slip through and hit me, whether I like it or not. Oh, it's a golden, uh, yeah, give me that. Ow. Oh, I got so greedy chasing that. I definitely took more damage than I should have there. Actually, greedy boy, go, yeah, pick up all the coins and explode. Well, how much do I have? I have 40. I think that's enough for a new gun anyway, so I'll let him eat the rest. Oh, he finally gave me a shield. Look at you finally earning your worth. Yeah, that's also another one of my weaknesses. When I see something shiny, I just kind of uh, go for it without any thought or question. But that's okay. I'm quite sure we're going to be able to get another Athena room before very long. Uh, yeah, give me the gun. And we'll add that to our mixed plastic gun. I think that fires all the, uh, yeah, the bullets you see there. Yeah, I just got another Athena room going. Uh, so we're good to go for that. I still don't want to take damage because I can still die. So we're going to try very hard to avoid just that happening. And another item room. Again, I really don't need any more items, but I'll certainly take them. So magic vortex or jelly beans. This is actually a good one. Your weapon does more damage when the crystal containers are full. My crystal containers are often full, so now I'm firing really, really big bullets. All right, then we're going to visit our friend Athena for Onion Helmet or Howard Reactor. Both of these are tempting. I think I'm going to take Onion Helmet, Protective Shield per room. That way when I charge in, I can fire bullets and don't really have to worry about damage for a second. Uh, I don't know how much that's going to be, but there's another gun to add to my collection of many super guns, so that's fun. I guess we'll also do the challenge room over here. That was the rest of my keys. And my uh, temporary shield won't matter at all here. We'll probably be okay here. We're just going to... Ow, I touched something. I think it spawned in on me. These rooms are going to be a little bit difficult just because I cannot, uh, can't see a thing. I see the laser though, so we're just going to fire and move. I don't know what's still alive. I have no idea what survived that long, but that's unnerving that something can survive that long. I just realized I have like a plasma torch coming out the front too, so depending on the range enemies are at, they're really boned. Uh, Argus already. Okay. Mm, kind of wish I had more shields now. I didn't really realize we we're so close to Argus. So Argus, uh, don't touch the spears. Don't touch the spears. Argus is dead. Okay, damage definitely isn't a problem. So we're going to take a heart here if we can. And we got gun damage because I can't even time that. But I find myself in an interesting position here because as I understand it, if I complete the next room or two without any meter one way or another, I do get a boss. I don't really know if that could be done because we fire so much damage in the room, we're bound to turn something into a red thing at some point, but we'll try our best. It's actually really hard not to have a thing. So if we find a boss room, we're probably just going to go straight into it, hoping that that works. If I understand that correctly. Uh, oh, I guess my idiot died. Oh, didn't even see that thing. But we definitely got some money out of that because that, uh, my idiot exploded. See, this room would be hard because I know I'm going to touch that. Luckily, I see it's just an item room on the far side of that. So I'm actually going to leave that for now. And with that, we might actually be able to avoid turning the meter in either direction. Uh, I'm just going to slowly back up while firing bullets here. Yep, that seemed to have done the trick. Again, this room is going to have things spawning in places, but our bullets fill the room, so we don't need to see them. Just need to find that there's the boss room. Okay, so this is working out pretty good. Just can't turn the meter one way or another here. We're just going to move around a little bit so we can hopefully see things coming toward us. I think we're okay for a sec. We'll just lob some shots up there and take care of that thing. Take care of these guys, back up a little bit. My little blue doctor is continuing to uh, gather some hearts. But I think it's time we fight the boss, which is hell. Uh, it's going to be a little bit hard to do this again because I can't see anything coming at me really. But the damage should carry us through. I can't remember how to deal with this. And hell is dead. 
All right, well, damage is really, really carrying us through. We got another heart. Okay, we're going to go on to the next one. We might also have to do this also without losing any containers or doing any containers or whatever it's called. That's fine. We got the damage. We don't need anything else. I should really be utilizing my shield more than I am because damage is there. Okay, shield is up. Let's just go for it for a sec. The shield hardly lasts to where the enemies show up anyway. It's really not that good of an item. Or I just need to be using it more aggressively. I'm kind of used to assessing a room before diving too far in. When you've got a shield, you might as well just dive way into it and kill everything you can before it runs out. That does put you way into the middle of the room though where it's super dangerous. And uh, that is also going to turn purple things red if they happen to be out there because my bullets feel every crack of these rooms now. Oh, this was kind of a surprise one. Okay, I think we're going to be okay. Yep, we seem to have eliminated the enemies. This is going to be a problem. There's no way I can do this room without hitting that, I think. Or taking damage for that matter. Maybe if we stay over here and we're just really, really well behaved, we don't have to fire anything that's going to hit that. How do we like... Yeah, there's... Oh, our meter didn't go, though. I guess because it's not started. Oh, that makes me feel better. All right, so no meter yet. This still might work. I'm still also a little confused by how this stuff in general works. Thank you for the shield. But what I know is so far, our meter isn't going, so that's all I really care about. So as long as we don't do anything purple, then I think. This room was a little bit annoying to deal with just for traps, but easy. All right, this would be normally quite stressful and annoying, but... I think something we're firing out is blocking bullets, so I do think that's saving us a lot of damage. Uh, more idiots here, but I think we're able to, for the most part, take them out. Gotta be getting close to a boss room. This one's kind of interesting. Uh, we're gonna stay up here where I think we're a little bit safe-ish, and then hopefully bounce some bullets to the right idiots. I don't know these situations where I'm just kind of going downwards towards the unknown, but we managed to kill them with our bouncing bullets anyway. Well, there's the item shop, uh, also the boss. This isn't purple, so we should be free to go in there, and then we'll go fight Zeus. I'm going to take birthday cake. That's just going to add two heart meters. Oh, okay, it also makes me a lot bigger. I knew it was going to make me bigger. I didn't think it was going to make me that bigger. But we're going to fight Zeus, so we'll fight him uh, sort of as the god of damage, I guess. So he's already... Uh, well, he's dead. So good. Uh, we're going to take... Um, I don't know. Increased gun damage. Then we're going to move on along to wherever this is going to take us at this point. Level 8. So I thought by now I would be fighting, well, I should have fought Curse Zeus, I think, as I understand it. So I think now I'm going to try and turn my meter so we can hopefully fight one of the other cursed idiots. I'm clearly not understanding entirely how these things work, but uh, that's fine. There is a shop the other side of that room that'll start the purple meter going. Uh, and then we can hopefully just continue on to get an Athena token here, which will help us fight cursed. Uh, we turned that red. That wasn't smart of us at all. Yeah, I forgot about that entirely, so we might have just actually screwed that up when we were set up so perfectly for it. But we'll just keep on cruising for a second. Uh, I don't know, see how this goes. And we just got hit by an idiot uh, because they teleported into our face. So yeah, this is... Um interesting so what i would really like is a purple thing but it's going to be very hard to get a purple thing right now because our bullets fill the room and we turn purple things red in a hurry and there's no point in doing the aries thing now ow uh hmm. we take a lot of damage per hit like i think we're still taking half a heart per per damage but we're taking multiple damages per hit so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful uh, as careful as we can be ow as i got touched by something else Okay, we need to fire more bullets out into these rooms. Everything died. These little guys in the wall are really annoying because I can't see them. Here's a purple meter finally. I think it's probably too late, but depending on how big this level is. And if we can actually avoid damage properly from this point forward, which may or may not be a thing. Another item room, silver or lion headgear. Uh, we'll go for lion headgear. The more pets you have, the more damage your gun does. So that's just going to give us ever more damage. Does doing this push my purple meter along? It's really a shame I screwed up that story thing earlier because we probably could have had the Athena temple by now well all right i guess we'll just fight athena so probably not going to be the hardest fight we've ever had not the easiest either but not the hardest uh she hit me with something pretty hard already we take a lot of damage every time we do get hit and we do get hit quite often but i think she's dead so you know ultimately not that bad uh we kill oh we have wings now too we can fly i'm not even sure when or where that happened but we did it so reading this if you defeat hell without Ares or athena tokens without any faith you will meet the true zeus I thought I just did that, but I didn't see him. Oh.